In this video, we'll be discussing Sonar Lint for Visual Studio. We'll cover the installation, the coding experience for developers, and the advantages that connected mode can bring. Sonar Lint documentation can be found at docs.sonarsource.com. Here, you can find Sonar Lint docs for each IDE extension that we support, as well as getting started guides concepts, and team features that we'll be discussing further today. Installing Sonar Lint for Visual Studio is simple. Navigate to the Extensions tab, Manage Extensions, and then search for Sonar Lint in the search box. Here you'll be able to download and install Sonar Lint. After restarting your IDE, you'll see that in the Extensions tab, Sonar Lint is now installed. Sonar Lint will automatically start analyzing an open file in the IDE. You'll see inline syntax highlighting on your code, as well as a full list of issues on it in a particular file in the error list. From the error list, you can right click and select show error help to get full context into why an issue is raised and how to resolve it. By default, Sonar Cube and Sonar Cloud low, medium, and high rule severities do not map back to error level severities within Visual Studio. On an issue by issue basis, you can have this defined as an error within Visual Studio by modifying the severity here when you see an issue. When Sonar Lint finds an issue in your code, it will of course let you know and it will continue letting you know until it's resolved. In this case, I'm going to quickly resolve it using a quick fix feature from Sonar Lint, and you can see that the issue is resolved and no longer showing. If you're using a commercial edition of Sonar Cube, or if you're using Sonar Cloud, you'll get some additional features with Sonar Lint for Visual Studio. If you navigate to Extensions, Sonar Lint, Connected Mode, Bind to Sonar Cube or Sonar Cloud, you can then bind to a specific Sonar Cube instance by clicking Connect and putting your server address, username, and password. Sonar Lint Connected Mode with Visual Studio will give you a few core features. You'll be able to use the same quality profile locally as defined on the server, apply settings such as rule exclusions and analyzer parameters defined in the server to the local analysis, and automatically suppress issues that are marked won't fix or false positive on the server to the issues reported locally. Once connected to a Sonar Cube server, you'll be able to see the projects associated with it. Over here, you'll right click, click bind, where you'll be able to bind to a specific project and you'll download the specific quality profiles in use for that project to be viewed here in the IDE. Once bound to a Sonar Cube instance, you'll be able to see security hotspots and taint vulnerabilities within your IDE. From the connections pane on the right, you can quickly browse to the project within Sonar Cube. To summarize the connected mode advantages for Visual Studio, you'll be able to synchronize your quality profiles as well as issues marked won't fix or false positive, view taint vulnerabilities right within Visual Studio, and of course, clean as you code by shifting your issue resolution further left. 